In this short clip, I'm going to show you how to take a panorama image and then using on one resize, split it and tile it to be able to be printed in more than one photo. This is a good alternative to printing a giant long panorama print. You can split up your photo into three, four, or however many tiles that you'd like, print them separately, and then hang them on your wall side by side. It's a really kind of a fun way to display photographs. Now you can do this with any image. It doesn't have to be a panorama, but I'm using a panorama because it's a really good representation on how to do this. So I'll go ahead and use this photo I took at Mount Rainier. I photographed this with several different shots, all photographed vertically, and then I merged them together in, in Lightroom using the Pano Merge feature. I have it open here in Browse. I'm going to go ahead and click on Resize on the right to open it into Resize, and I'll go ahead and edit a copy, and then click OK. If you look over on the right in the Document Size panel, the width and height of this panorama is a very odd size, and it's not a size that you would really want to print. And it's definitely not a size that I would be able to split equally into three parts. And so in this case, I'm going to tile this into three different photos. But a width of 37.88 doesn't really split very well into thirds. So the first thing I'm going to do here is crop my photo so that way I have a kind of a nice even number to work with. I'll select the crop tool on the left. And then at the top, I have the option to input the width and the height. I'm going to drop the height down to 12 inches because that's a good number, kind of a nice normal number for printing. And for the width, because my height is 12 inches, if I make my width 36 inches, now I have a width that actually is divisible by 12. And so I can create three squares. And you could kind of already see this in the crop preview. So I have my crop set. Now I'm just going to go ahead and click apply. I don't really need to change the location of the crop. That actually did a pretty good job. It just kept everything in the center there. So I'll go ahead and click apply to apply that crop. Next, I'm going to go into the tiling panel. I'll go ahead and check it to make it active. And then I'm going to show the panel so we can see everything. It defaults to this strange assortment of all of these tiles. But I know the width and height of my document. And I know that I want tiles that are going to be 12 by 12. So if I change the width to 12 inches and the height to 12 inches, then I have three perfectly shaped tiles. Now you could play around with this if you wanted to and see what other kind of combinations you could get. So there if you wanted to do a lot of little skinny tiles and print them like that, or if you wanted to, let's see, do a, a six by six, and then you have a bunch of squares and you could, you know, frame those up and hang those differently. However you decide to kind of split up your image is really up to you. In this case, I'm just going to keep it simple and do three tiles each 12 inch squares. So that's all I really need to do here. And I'll go ahead and click Save. On one will automatically split up that image and create all of those tiles. And now, back inside of Browse, if I go back to the original folder of that photo, you can see here that I have all three of these tiles ready to go. And so from here, I would just print these images, and then I would be able to hang them on the wall side by side, and I have a very easy way to display a panorama photo. To learn more about me and to see some of my work, please visit my website at nicolzi.com.